Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a joke out of this. But I, in front of me here is a snorkeling set from Kawambiri. Kawambiri, I'm not sure exactly if that's how you pronounce it, but Nikki and I are going on vacation, and they reached out, they're like, do you wanna test this out? I'm like, yeah, I need some new snorkeling gear. So what we're gonna do before I take it out on vacation and really commit to it is we're gonna try it out in the pool here, right? We're gonna try out the goggles, we're gonna try out the snorkel and make sure they work and then I'm gonna come back, let you know how they worked out. Let me go swim around with a little bit. I'll tell you about some of the features and then when I'm done with it at the end of the day, I'll come back and I'll let you know how this all worked out for me. Okay, let's talk about some of those key features. The snorkel itself has a one-way valve which involves a floating ball which when you go underwater floats up blocks off the water from coming in and then when you return to the surface ball comes down you can breathe again i'll give you a review at the end and let you know how it worked for me the mask includes an anti-fog film to avoid fogging um, any of us who've been snorkeling or scuba before know they're definitely going to fog. It just always happens. It's a question of how much, and I'll let you know if these fogged up a lot or if they didn't fog up too much. The snorkeling set and the mouthpiece itself is made of food-grade, high-quality silicone, so it's non-toxic, odorless, and it's safe. All right, I'm curious how it went. Let's hear what I have to say. <laughs> I am back. All right, welcome back from the monster of the deep here. Um, okay, I have been playing with these for a good afternoon here in the pool, even playing silly games with the kids, throwing things in, pennies and stuff, go get them, go get them. In any case, they've worked perfectly. I have to say, they've worked perfectly with a common sense asterisk. As you can see, I have a full beard. So everywhere that the silicone is touching my face, doesn't get the best seal in the world. I don't get water rushing in or anything like that. Just every couple minutes I need to clear it. I absolutely did check the check valve on this, went to the bottom a number of times. Oh, I already told you that story, but it worked perfectly every single time. It just stopped the water from coming in. I even tried to drown myself a couple times breathing in to see what would happen. And then when you just get to the top, you just clear it out and you go back about your business. So that was really good. The silicone feels really nice and soft and comfortable, compliant on your face and in your mouth. It's totally washable, which is a really good thing. I didn't have any abnormal fogging. Look, anybody who's snorkeling and that kind of stuff knows everything fogs on some level. There's some things which is a disaster and there's some things where it worked really nice and it wasn't a big deal. In any case, I'm gonna give this a full five out of five on the Doug score for what this is. This is amazing. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.